Why did the body acceptance movement kinda skip over men? I really dislike the phrase, small dick energy. It's so easily said and no one seems to understand the implications of it. Because the body acceptance movement was created by women for women. There was not a body acceptance movement by men for men. If you want men to be part of the body acceptance movement you need to get millions of men to take part in it. Nearly every time men ask why there isn't a male equivalent of X part of feminism it's because men won't do it. If men want a body positivity movement we have to do it. I will say this one is complicated by the fact that the idea of men being judged on their appearance is very new. Historically the idea was that men could be physically unattractive but redeemable through other avenues which was not the case for women. I think this is a situation where more men need to be opting in if they want to be a part of it. Rather than suggesting that the people who have already self-selected to be a part of that movement should be working harder to include men. We still live in a society where a typical sitcom couple is an overweight bumbling man with a super hot and competent wife. Yes pop culture also gives us many unrealistic portrayals of ideal masculinity, but on the whole, men have not been judged or excluded on the basis of their body type in the same way that women have. I'm not saying that men haven't suffered because of judgments about body shapes and types. Because I know that many absolutely have. But the ratio is not remotely close to even. Do we have sitcoms yet where the wife is very heavy and lazy? And her husband is super hot and fit? And they love each other just the same through all their crazy hijinks? Just the fact that we have the concept of dad bod that gets talked about in positive ways and no equivalent of the mom bod as a positive body type shows that body positivity is not an equal playing field for men and for women. I imagine there are a ton of men who feel insecure who would like to be a part of this. But, like the women who established the movement, they're going to need to speak up for themselves. I do see people who are advocates of body acceptance online pushing back against people body. Shaming anyone, including men, and even men who they personally hate. I think the serious answer for this is that women are traditionally valued almost exclusively by their appearance. Like it's a narrative that is slowly changing but think about how in many classic stories. Men are valued for their actual traits and characteristics. But the only thing that matters for a girl to be is beautiful. And sufficiently mild-mannered and good-natured. So that she marries the guy at the end. Often the only thing you may know about a heroine in an old story is that she's beautiful. And often the only character flaw women get in fiction is that they're not exceptionally attractive. Meanwhile they're played by super attractive actresses because God forbid we cast an average looking woman in a film. Femininity and beauty essentially go hand in hand. So for many women if they don't feel beautiful they feel like a failure. They feel a kind of dysphoria that they're failing at being a woman. So that's why movements like body positivity start. Because it's seen as important for women to be told that they're beautiful and feel like they're beautiful because that's a huge part of women's perceived self-esteem and perceived value. Both in the sense of the value in which they hold themselves and within society. Now this is not to say that this is not also important for men. But there is a PERCEPTION that it is not as important for men. That men don't really care about their appearance because they are traditionally valued for far more than their looks. And this perception also explains why unconsciously people don't seem to think it's so bad to be negative to a guy about how he looks. People don't think it bothers men to be criticized about their appearance because masculinity is not associated with beauty. It's not seen as attacking their worth in the same way. Even if it may destroy a specific individual man's self-worth more than a specific individual. 
woman's self-worth to receive comments about their appearance. TL. DR. Women's value is seen as being tied to their looks. Men's value is seen as being tied to their character and accomplishments. Someone asked something similar earlier today see here. Summarizing my earlier comment women had to deal with worse body standards and shaming for longer. So the reaction itself has been much stronger. There is some discussion about it for men but it's not nearly as progressed as you noted. Because the movement is led by women so it includes all body types but focuses primarily on women. If men want representation they must realize that nobody will save them and do the work themselves. You're wrong. Body shaming really wasn't applied to the same degree to men as women. It's not that it wasn't there or examples can't be presented but there just isn't a gap as wide to bridge for them. Dad bods are a great example. There isn't as much a reason for men who become fathers to become less idealistically physically fit as women who have kids but dad bods are celebrated but women with kids are often asked when they are going to get back in shape. Men aren't valued for how they look, men are valued for what they're able to contribute. It didn't, men skipped over it. Are we just gonna ignore all the love, dad bod, gets online? Because men don't advocate for it. Body acceptance was made for women by women. Women who were fed up with the standards they had and did something about it. I could be wrong. But I genuinely think men don't do the same because their insecurities and body shaming don't affect them as much as it did for women. ETA. I'd argue it is still definitely considered okay to make the same jokes about women's bodies and things they can't control. Women are more likely to support each other. If men spent time building each other up without turning it against women, then these kinds of movements might take off. Why is there a movement for group 10 but not a similar movement for group Y? Quote, because group 10 got organized and advocated for themselves. They put time in and fought an uphill battle. A lot of the appreciation I see for men's non-conventional bodies comes solely from women. Men don't seem to lift each other up in large enough numbers to be as noticeable. Dad bods online are an example. And tons of women express their appreciation while a lot of men on social media will go out of their way to comment about how dad bod men should go to the gym, diet, etc. I personally have definitely seen men included in the movement and there's a push within the movement to include men more. But it's still more focused on women because women are more strongly judged for their appearances than men and consequently women care more because it affects them more. They tend to focus on the more pressing issues and the ones that affect them most. First while maintaining the same general principles for everyone. Because women were always the ones being attacked. Women's bodies are the ones that go through trends. Depending on the decade skinny was in. Chubby was in. Small butts. Big butts. Small tits. Big tits. Etc. Etc. It sounds like you were born after 2000 and don't remember how any ounce of fat on a woman got her publicly humiliated across every platform. When's the last time men had a trend focused on their body type? When everyone agreed that dad bods were sexy. When fat guys were called teddy bears. When skinny emo guys were dreamy. All of these things have always been accepted. A bodybuilder physique is a male fantasy and not having it doesn't prevent you from being a celebrity or being considered attractive and it doesn't get you made fun of by anyone. Women never had mottos like, no fat chicks, or, no land whales, on bumper stickers like men have. The argument is that men, socially, were never under as much pressure as women from the start. 
that way more trends and stigma and advertising were focused on women and making them work to improve themselves. While if you had a butt ugly dude on the other hand, well, he's a man. Ah well. Because men and women are different so their cultural issues i.e. how they feel is different. From a culture standpoint men in general tend to reject that sort of language in public bc it makes. You sound like a bitch. Men are left out bc by and large they never wanted to be included. And more importantly they don't include each other. Australia had an interesting program where they tried to get men to talk about their feelings. Well they got them in a circle a style and it didn't work so they tried getting them together in a shed and work on fixing things. Between, pass the wrench, you get, how was your day? Men are more likely to form relationships through doing things with others. In regards to body positivity, how often are you likely to tell your male friend, nice pants, or, your hair looks good today man? Love the beard you manscaping rascal. But men will heap praise upon task completion. Great job, couldn't have done it without you. You can't be included if you don't include yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.